guys, right now I am getting ready to decorate my Christmas tree in my makeup room and I am so excited and I just have my makeup sitting on the floor right here. This is kind of a random thing, but I usually always will sit on the floor right here and do my makeup. I have no idea why I have a vanity. I could sit at my vanity and do my makeup, but for some reason I always like to just sit right here on the floor and do my makeup and curl my hair. And I'm kind of curious if any of you are the same way and also do that. So like I said, I am getting ready to start decorating this tree. If you are wondering, I bought this tree earlier this summer from Goodwill and this tree was only $8, which I thought was an amazing deal. So this is what the tree looks like before I start decorating it. The only thing I've done so far is I did shape the tree, which took me maybe a whole five minutes because this tree was already in amazing shape. So now let the decorating begin. The first thing that I'm going to do to decorate my tree is add on some of this fake snow that I picked up from Walmart. This stuff is only $1.50 a can and this stuff is amazing. And as you guys can see, I have a bunch of my Christmas decorations sitting over here on my vanity. You guys have no idea how excited I am to start decorating for Christmas. Oh, and I also did hang up some pink and white Christmas lights over here around the closet. Maybe that's a little bit better. I had to turn down my exposure a little bit so you can actually see what the lights look like. So I just hung those around the closet. I love the way the pink and the white look together. All right guys, before we get started spraying the snow, usually what I like to do is put a piece of plastic down on the floor underneath the tree just to catch any extra snow that is going to fall off. You definitely don't have to do this, but it does make the cleanup a little bit easier. If you don't have some painting plastic like this, you can always use a plastic shopping bag or if you don't want to put anything down, you can either just vacuum it up or sweep it up when you are done. It's not really a big deal. It's just kind of a little bit of a powdery mess. I also went ahead and pulled my tree a little bit away from the wall because I didn't want a bunch of the snow getting on my bookcase or my mirror. If it does get on anything, it's not really a big deal. It just kind of turns in to a little bit of a powder and you can just wipe it off. But I like to just kind of have it pulled away so I don't have to clean everything up afterwards. All right guys, I'm ready to start spraying the tree. So hopefully you're going to be able to see how I do this. So basically I'm just taking my fake snow, I kind of shook it up a little bit, and now I'm just going to start putting light coats on the tree. It's almost like you're spray painting, except you're using snow. So I'll see that. I just kind of do light coats. And you can go back over it too, but as you can see it kind of comes, look, it looks like whipped cream. So some of that kind of gets on the floor a little bit. That's why I put the plastic down. It's looking so pretty! And I just got some on my tripod. The nice thing about this stuff is it is very easy to clean up. So if it does get on something, you don't have to worry that it's going to get ruined. This is looking so good, you guys. I love the way you can take a can of this super cheap fake snow and make your tree look amazing. Alright guys, I am done adding my fake snow to the tree. This is how it looks. I think it looks so pretty. And if you guys noticed, I didn't add a ton of the fake snow to the back of the tree just because that is going to be in the corner and no one is going to be able to see that. So now I am just going to go ahead and add my lights onto the tree. These are the lights that I'm going to be using. I just bought some of these clear mini lights. These are from Dollar General and I believe these were only $2.50 a box. I ended up buying three boxes. I just have two in here right now and I'm not even sure if I'm going to need three but I do like to have a lot of lights on my tree. And you guys, how cute is this new phone case that I just got? Look at this, isn't that pretty? I love getting new phone cases. All right, now I am going to put the lights on my tree and I will be back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. I got the lights on the tree and I think it is looking really good. I did end up using three boxes of the lights. I thought two was going to be plenty, but I definitely needed three. I think it looks so pretty. Now I just need to go into the attic and find my pink Christmas ornaments and I will add those on. I'm so excited, it looks so good. I think that fake snow just makes it look so amazing. I found my Christmas bulbs in the attic, so these are the ones that I'm going to be using. These pink sparkly ones are my favorite. I think I'm basically going to stick to the pink and the silver, and I may even throw in a few of the gold or the rose gold ones. And then I'm also going to be using some of these pretty silver bows that I picked up from Walmart. 
some of these white snowflakes. I found these at Dollar Tree. And also some of these pink macaroons. These are probably my favorite decoration of all. I also found some of these gorgeous sparkly pine cones that I'm going to be using. I'm going to attach some hooks so I can hang these on the tree. These are so pretty, you guys. I love the glitter on them. This is what it looks like after I drilled a little tiny hole in it and then I was able to attach my ornament hook. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but I just used my husband's drill and it was super easy. I just used a really small drill bit and carefully drilled a small hole in the top of it. I thought I would quickly show you how I drilled the holes in the pine cones just in case you guys are wondering. So first of all, I am using my husband's drill here, which has definitely seen better days, but this thing has seriously gotten so much use and this thing is still going strong. And then I have my pine cone here. So what I'm going to do is right here on the bottom, I'm just going to drill a small hole through it. See if I can show this on camera. I don't know how good this is going to show. All right, ready? So see that? See how easy that is? Just simple. And then you're just going to take your ornament hook and stick it through the little hole that we just drilled in the pine cone. And that is it. It is just that simple and easy to be able to hang up your pine cones. I love using these sparkly snowflakes to decorate my Christmas tree. These are from Dollar Tree, like I said before. I think these are so pretty. And usually I buy a few packs of these every year to put on my Christmas trees. These normally come with a little hanger on them, but I usually always cut that off. And the way I like to do it is I just take one of these snowflakes and I'll just kind of stick it into the tree, just like that. And you can see it stays there really nice. And it just looks, I don't know, I just like the way it looks a lot better than using the little hanger. Alright guys, I am done decorating my tree. I love the way it came out. It looks so pretty. The only thing I still need to get is possibly a star for the top, although I'm not sure if I even want to put one on the top. I kind of like the way it looks without one. This is what it looks like when you walk into the room. So basically the first thing that you see is this gorgeous tree. I cannot believe how good this came out and I still can't believe that this tree was only $8. It looks so good. And then I'll just go ahead and show you guys the rest of my decorations in here. I'm gonna start out with my vanity. So first of all, here is a little overview. So the first thing that I have sitting here is this candle holder, which is from Bath and Body Works. I thought this was so pretty. And then over here on this tiered tray, I have a little Christmas tree on top, which is again from Bath and Body Works. And this is actually a wallflower plug-in. I just stuck it on here until I put a bulb in it. And I actually think it looks really cute sitting on there and who knows, I may just end up leaving it on there for a decoration. And then on the bottom, I have this silver sparkly bottle brush tree, which is from the dollar spot at Target. This pink tree is also from Target, but I got this one last year. This coffee travel mug is from Dollar Tree. I thought this was so cute and it was only $1. And then I have some of my favorite twisted peppermint body cream. This stuff smells so good, you guys. Over here, I have this bottle brush tree, which I bought a few years ago from Hobby Lobby. And then I just wrapped it with some battery operated string lights. And then I think I already showed you guys, I wrapped the closet with the pink and white string lights. I think they look so pretty. And then I also added this lantern here with some of the battery operated string lights. On this mirrored chest, I have this white sparkly Christmas tree candle. I think I bought this a few years ago from Walgreens. A flannel candle from Bath and Body Works. And then hanging from the top drawer, I just have a stocking that I recently picked up from Home Goods. 
And then over here on my shelves, I also added a few Christmas decorations. On top, I added a couple more of the sparkly silver trees, which are from the dollar spot at Target. I have some snowflakes hanging here, which are just Christmas ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I just kind of have them hanging on the little brackets. And down here, I have this pretty pink Christmas house. I think I bought this a few years ago from Home Goods. I think this is so pretty, and the little snowman is definitely my favorite. And then over here, I just have this sign that says Merry and Bright. On my little couch, I have some holiday pillows. The two snowflake pillows are from Target. They are from a few years ago. And this one I got last year for Christmas and I am in love with this pillow. This one is so pretty. And then back here, I have some of these sparkly bulbs. I think I bought these a few years ago from Big Lots. I also added some of the pink and clear lights that I have around the closet around this bookcase. And then in here, I only have a couple of Christmas decorations. I have my little Christmas dog from Victoria's Secret. And this little tree here is from Home Goods. I might end up adding some more decorations in here, but I'm not sure yet. And lastly, over here in front of my mirror, I have this little furry stool, which I get so many questions asking where this is from. I bought this a few years ago from Target, and then I just have another travel coffee mug and little Christmas tree there. So that is going to be it for my decorations. I did end up going to Dollar Tree and I picked up a couple more Christmas ornaments. I found some of these super pretty trees with the pearls on them. So I stuck a couple of those on my tree. I am so happy with the way this tree came out. I think it looks so pretty. One other thing that I did is I switched out the green tree for this pink one here. I just thought this one matched a lot better. So I just stuck the pink one in here. So I think that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you in my next video.